City leaders in New Haven praising a quick and careful emergency response once this collapse call came in. And joining us now to talk more about how crews prepare for these kinds of rescue efforts is Kenneth Gray, professor of emergency management at the University of New Haven. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Erin. So, Professor Gray, I know you've been monitoring this as it unfolded all afternoon. What's your assessment so far of what you've seen and what you've heard? So I think this was an excellent response by uh, all different departments uh, here for the emergency response. Uh, the fire department, the fire chief is in charge of any type of crisis type response. Uh, and the, they were able to establish command, uh, get uh, identify the injured, get the injured out of the area. Uh, and then to uh, take action to try to make sure that the environment was safe. It's not totally safe yet. Uh, and then there is going, once it is totally safe, they will have to turn it over to OSHA to conduct an investigation about what exactly went wrong. The fortunate thing about a construction site accident is the fact that the construction site knows how many people were there at the site. If this had been a building that had collapsed, you would not know how many people were inside the building and it would have been a completely different matter as far as having to go into the area and try to identify potential victims still trapped within the facility. In this particular case, they knew how many people were there. They could account for all the people. They got out the injured and this was well done on the part of all emergency responders. I think what has to be so hard from an emergency management perspective is that each of these situations are unique. How do crews train for the unexpected? Sure. Uh, so the fire department trains for shoring up buildings all the time as part of their regular response. Uh, the state has an urban search and rescue team, a USAR team, specifically trained to do this kind of response. I don't think USAR was deployed in this case because it was a construction site and everybody was accounted for. But whether it's a, a bombing of a building or if it's a, um, a construction problem or if it is an earthquake, these are all similar type of situations you still have to respond the same way and it's a very dangerous environment to work in so I think that, that, that my hat is off to all the emergency responders in this case they have well done absolutely I also want to ask you about this because officials are saying that the collapse occurred when they were pouring concrete and we know concrete eventually gets hard, so time is really of the essence, I had to imagine, when people were trapped in there. You don't have unlimited time to get people out. That's exactly right, is that uh, this would have been a very, very difficult environment to work in if you could not account for all the personnel. The fact that they were able to identify the people and get them out as quickly as they did made all the difference in the world. Well, certainly a big thank you to all the emergency crews who have been out there today and will be out there over the next few days. Kenneth Gray, a professor of emergency management at the University of New Haven. Thank you again for being with us today. We really appreciate your insight. Anytime.